Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. Now, I want to start this review of Black Panther by first announcing my intention to make this purely a review of Black Panther, the film. Not about its trailblazing nature or its predominantly black cast, its ability to speak to a generation that has been craving representation on screen. I won't even talk about the fact that this superhero movie passes the Bechdel test of all things. Even though all of those things are true, and awesome, and inspiring, and great for both film lovers and comic book nerds and well, just our culture in general, okay? Because these are all the sorts of things that have been discussed to death in the months leading up to the release of Black Panther, all by people well more intellectually qualified than myself. No, my expertise is in cinema, so I must approach Black Panther purely from that perspective. So, how is Black Panther, the 18th film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe that began over 10 years ago? Well, I'll tell you, it feels like two movies that run back to back. One good movie, and one great movie. It's like a standalone superhero origin story followed immediately by its superior and deeper sequel. As a result, especially when the character's introduction was a major part of 2016's Captain America Civil War, by the time you walk out of this nearly two and a half hour film, the character of Black Panther and his home world of Wakanda feel as ingrained in your head and as beloved in your heart as any of the other legendary comic book heroes that have come before. That's right. In just his first starring outing, Black Panther has vaulted up to the Pantheon, up there with Iron Man, Cap, Spidey, and Hulk. All hail the king, baby! So, how did Ryan Coogler, for whom this is only his third feature film, do it? Well, let's talk about that first half, the one I called simply a good movie, shall we? In this portion, which takes the very simple structure of a hero's origin story, we are introduced to the mythical land of Wakanda via some quick exposition and a puzzling scene set in Oakland in 1992 that will become important later, way, way later. And then we meet our hero, T'Challa, returning home after the events of Civil War. We get reacquainted with him, learn the rules and customs of his land, and are quickly introduced to a wealth of supporting characters. And when I say wealth, I mean wealth, baby. Angela Bassett, Lupita Nyong'o, Daniel Kaluuya, Forrest Whitaker, and, and the list goes on. Uh, although I do have to single out Letitia Wright, who plays T'Challa's wise-cracking, super-genius sister, Shuri, and just about steals every scene that she's in. All of these supporting characters, and a few more besides, are fun and interesting and populate the awesome world of Wakanda, which we really get to know very well over the course of the first half of the movie, which is good because the plot is fairly standard origin story stuff. T'Challa becomes king, flirts with the girl, and goes on action-packed missions in this high-tech suit. Ho-hum. But I tell you, that is all fine. It's fine. Because the ritual by which he becomes king, and the world that it takes place in, and even the standard espionage action stuff, it is all presented in a gorgeous package. That's what Coogler and company do to elevate this standard issue first half where they have to do all the heavy lifting it takes to introduce you to the characters. They hold your interest by showing you a whole bunch of stuff you've never seen before. The richly detailed world of Wakanda, which is fantastical but also uniquely African. Everything from the fashion to the warriors who ride armored rhinoceroses into battle, to magnetically powered trains, to a suit which absorbs and redirects energy. Everything about this world is super cool to behold. And then, and then, about halfway through, Black Panther becomes another movie entirely. Once you've become comfortable with the world and the dynamics between all of the characters, there is a palpable shift, and you'll feel it when it happens. The movie becomes about something else, something deeper, more emotional, and incredibly rich. Civil War was a superhero movie with ideas, but, but those were hypothetical, imagined moral questions revolving around the ethics of superheroes. Black Panther sure has got some ideas too, but these ones will hit you right where you live. The stakes here are big, but we're used to that in superhero movies. In Black Panther, the stakes are big on a personal level. This is mostly to do with Michael B. Jordan's brilliantly executed character of Killmonger. Yes, you can probably tell by the name that he is a bad guy, but he's also a completely relatable villain. One who you will understand, sympathize with, and maybe even side with against your better judgment. His entire plotline doesn't kick in until the latter, superior half of this film, but prepare yourself, because when it does, it is a kick 
right in the bowels, the impact of which carries this movie roaring to its very emotional and thrilling conclusion. I award Black Panther an extra large bag of popcorn. I had a great time with it, spent the majority of the film in a state of open child wonder, and it made me feel for its characters, and especially its villain, more than any comic book movie in recent memory. Minor quibbles about some of the fake looking CGI and spots and some of the pacing issues will easily be forgotten by the time you've gotten to the first of the two customary post credits bonus scenes. That does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Don't forget to follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter at Movies That Pop. And click the icon right down there to visit our channel if you'd like to see more and support us, please, by clicking subscribe while you're there and by clicking the thumbs up icon below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on Black Panther in the comments as well. Just please, uh, no spoilers until the end of the first weekend. Please. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel. Wakanda forever!